I've done a vlog and they're about to put blinds up in my house. I thought, what a good time to do a vlog. <laughs> also, I did something at San Diego Comic-Con this past weekend that um, was definitely... It's a little bit embarrassing. It's a lot embarrassing. Actually, I've told this story a couple times to friends and I'm embarrassed for myself every time. So, um, yeah. Anyway, this is my fangirl moment that I had at Comic-Con. And it started on Friday. Oh, it's all on Friday. It didn't go <laughs> any longer than that. But it was on Friday last week at Comic-Con. I was wandering around and picking up souvenirs for people back home. And I happened to walk by the Fox booth and noticed that the cast of Bob's Burgers was signing. And you guys know I love Bob's Burgers. I'm obsessed. I love that show so much. And um, I thought, oh my gosh, this will be a perfect present. So normally at Comic-Con you kind of have to get in line early for autographs. I mean, people get like wristbands, there's all these, all these whole complicated systems, so I was kind of bummed and expected not to get in line already, but I went over to the security guard to ask if the line was closed, and she told me I had to have a ticket, but then wouldn't we tell me where to get the ticket? Um, and someone in line was nice enough to turn around and say, you have to go to this back wall, and, and the line's really short, just go do it. I'm like, okay, you got it. So I went to the back wall, the line was totally short, so I waited in it, I got a ticket, I was so excited, I kept expecting them to like cut the ticket right off, like right in front of me. <laughs> they didn't, it was very exciting. So I got my ticket, and I was like, eee! and I got in line, and I met the cast of Bob's Burgers, and I totally kept my cool. I'd like to say that this is something I sort of pride myself on, not in like a, oh, I'm so good, but like, I've never fangirled on anyone I've ever met. If if I ever, like, yee, I do it after they've left, like, so they can't see my embarrassment. Um, like when I met LeVar Burton, uh, he walked, I kept, oh, nice to meet you. And then he walked away and I was like, LeVar Burton, like, I was so excited. But I waited till he left. This was not the case when I met John Roberts, who is the voice of uh, Linda on Bob's Burgers. Oh my god, so I'm meeting every. he's at the very end of the line, so I'm like meeting everyone, and oh, hi, he's, oh you do the show, oh that's so great, and everybody's signing my poster, and I get to John Roberts, and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, here we go, I got this, I didn't got this. Um, I've been a huge fan of his work since he was on YouTube, and oh my god, he does the exact voice he does for Linda in his YouTube videos, and um, My Son is Gay is like one of the best, but the absolute best is he does this character, it's like this mom, <laughs> and it's her with a Christmas tree, oh my gosh, I will link both videos, both the Christmas tree and My Son is Gay, in the description down below. Watch Christmas Tree first, and watch My Son is Gay, they're both hilarious, and he made these videos like years ago, and I've just been a huge fan, I think they're hilarious, I can't, I love showing them to people, and I love quoting them, and oh my god, I love them. So anyway, I was just so excited in my head, I got this, I don't got this, and he says, hi, nice to meet you, and I literally, I'm not even gonna try and make my sound sound any cooler, I was literally just like, I love My Son is Gay. <laughs> I was so, I'm like embarrassed myself right now. I couldn't help it. I like blurted it out that I love my son is gay. And he was very nice. He was just like, oh, thank you so much. And then I, I don't know why I didn't stop there, but I was like, and oh my god, the Christmas tree, and quote it at Christmas time. And I'm sure he thought I was such a weirdo. <laughs> I was trying so hard. He was super nice. He definitely, um... He was very indulgent, he totally went, my son is gay, which was great, and then he did, alright, which is what Linda says. Oh my god, it was great. I obviously can't do her voice, but it was really nice and very gracious, and I just, I knew I was like bright red while it was happening, and I did not, I did not got this. I did not keep my cool at all. I was just like, ee, while he was signing. And when he goes, my son is gay, I went, full on. I clapped. I'm not even gonna try and cover it up. I 100% excited clapped. I wish I hadn't. Like, in my head, I was literally like, you're blowing it. You, oh my, stop it. What, what are you doing? Stop it. Oh my god. So, that was my fangirl moment, and, um, he was very kind, and I just wanted to tell you guys about it, because it was really embarrassing, and I thought it was funny. Um, what are your guys' fangirl slash fanboy moments, and was the person nice about it? Because I'm really glad he was nice. If he had been like, great, my son is gay, like, I would have just, my heart would have just been like, because I love him so much, and I love his work. Anyway, I'm really happy he was nice, but ha what happened with you guys? Were they nice? Were they not nice? I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm going to do Ask Meg this week. And um, 
it's a blank sky it doesn't get here very soon i'm probably gonna do it right now but i'm gonna change my shirt you have no idea what day it is okay that's it um okay have fun I, that was so awkward i'm like okay that's it okay have fun it's because i told an awkward story and now i'm embarrassed for myself okay that's it now for real all right heart you